Did I just accidentally find handoff for an unsupported Mac? You be the judge. So uh, I'm going to have to use the fly cam from here on in, but while I was searching for a new web browser for the MacBook Pro, I discovered something called Rocat or Rocket. It, the reason I call it Rocat is if they were going for Rocket, you would just call it Rocket, wouldn't you? And it's a, it's a pretty thin web browser. It's based off of uh, WebKit. And they usually have these big what they call visit tabs, but I've hidden them because I don't like them. But the coolest thing about it is something called Rocket Flick. So I googled weather. If I go right here to this little button, it looks like someone flicking something. I click it. And my iMac already has Rocket loaded, ready to go, waiting. I hit Flick Website. It's going to ask me if I want to go to this Flicked website. I'm going to hit Go. And there you go. So I started thinking to myself, well, what if I was working on a document? Okay, so let's say I'm sitting here typing some notes or I'm at school, whatever, and I want to send this to, again, my Mac or my MacBook Pro or my PowerBook G4 or my iPad Mini, but for right now we'll just do iMac, I flick it, it's going to ask me if I want something flicked, I'm going to say yes, and it'll probably ask me to log in for security reasons, it might not, because uh, I'm already logged into iCloud on here. Yeah, it's going to ask me to log in for security purposes, which is no big deal. I'll do that real fast. Okay, so I just logged in, and I tend to get that error every once in a while. It says that the video is undefined, but if I just hit refresh. Oh my God, work with me, work with me, work with me. It doesn't take me to the iCloud Drive, it doesn't take me to anything like that, it takes me straight to the worksheet that I was working on. Yes, a couple of bugs, but I'm going to do it again with Word and with uh, Google Drive, just to prove a point. So let's do that. Let's go to Word Online. So I logged in, and once again I'm typing some notes, we're in Word Online. I went ahead and logged into the iMac version, that way we wouldn't have to jump cut. We're going to flick it to the iMac. Now note, I'm still in iCloud Pages. I want you to notice that. We're going to hit OK. Bingo! Was his name Oh. Let's do it one more time with Google Drive. It turns out I was wrong. They want you to update Rocket Browser for Google Drive. Um, it's not the first time I've been wrong on my channel. So you, you can't use Google Drive. Personally, I would use Word Online. Now, what we've tested so far is just two Macs that are relatively supported. But... Can we use an iPad? Can we use an unsupported Mac? Let's find out. Okay, so this is my iPad mini. I am on Office Online. See, it's even telling me that I should get the app, but we don't want the app. Because again, I'm going to type some notes. As you can see. We're going to hit that flick button. My MacBook is still open, even though it's in the floor. But let's do this to the iMac because it's right there. We're going to hit go. Okay. 
And surely enough, you can even do this from the iPad. How is this possible? Well, it all works on Wi-Fi. Um, there's no Bluetooth LE that needs to be used. There's no strange handoff compatibility that needs to be used. It just works. Now, I know it's not notes, and I know it's not the ability to do all this cool stuff where like, I can type something here and immediately send it there. But it's better than paying upwards of $60 for the Wi-Fi card and the Wi-Fi adapter for this to just drop something from here to here. The iOS browser is $0.99. Cents. The desktop browser is free. But we're not stopping there. There's one more thing I want to show you. It's supported on Leopard. That's right, this is my old PowerBook G4 that I modded to look like a modern computer. As you can see, it's running 10.5.8. And this browser is brand new, supported on Leopard. Um, I'll Google the weather again, just because that's pretty easy to do one-handed. Okay, there's the weather. You hit that little flip button. My MacBook's first thing that come up. Let's do the iMac again because it's right there. We'll hit flick. It's asking me if I want to go somewhere. I hit go. And yeah, from a PowerBook G4, an 11 year old machine, to my iMac. This isn't screen sharing. This isn't a magic trick. This is Rocket Web Browser. <clears throat> I can even access Word Online on here. I thought about using this as a um, note-taking machine for college. That or my iPad. Now that I know that I can send it here and save it to my main computer to work on it later or to organize and print because this is the only one that's hooked up to my printer downstairs. So, I mean... I'm just kind of bewildered, kind of blown away. So, <clears throat> what do we have? We have a web browser that allows you to shoot things from one computer to the other. We have one that runs on Power PCs and Mac and, you know, pretty much any computer you can throw at it made from 2005 onward. And... The most important thing, in my opinion, is we have a web browser that is supported from 10.5 to 10.12, meaning when Apple basically said no more support from Firefox and Chrome on older systems, okay, download this. It works just as good. Let me make myself perfectly clear. This is not a sponsored video. This is not an endorsed video. This is not me getting paid by RuneCats, which makes the software. This is not me doing any of that. This is simply me finding a really cool web browser that everyone on an unsupported Mac can use to literally hand off one document to another. <clears throat> is it really handoff? No, of course not. With the real handoff, you can use notes, you can use the word app you can use real stuff but if you're like me and you use a lot of cloud-based stuff because word online is free and you know your college has a really 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 nice Wi-Fi router then there's no trouble with it at all again I can close the lid on my iPad go back to my house connect to the Wi-Fi again open rocket web browser and send it straight on to, to the iMac. And that might be what I do. So anyway, if anyone's interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, I will be doing real handoff for the unsupported iMac eventually. Um, I've got to save up the money first, because it costs almost as much as a 2009 MacBook will. So anyway, this is Adam. Take it easy.